Anything else you want to cover? Basic moves, useful moves. Useful move. Oh, let's 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 talk about ground hitting moves. For ground hit, hitting moves, let's. I like to do the quick loads, which is down back three, down back four. Sometimes I like to do down three plus four. And if they stay, uh, they're on the floor. If I think they they might get up, I'll just do down four three three. Hmm. That way, if they get up, at, uh, I'll hit them with a mid. And if they stay down, I'll hit them with the low. So it's kind of an Oki setup. Yeah. Kind of. Oki being. What is Oki? It's basically just ground game. Basically, talk, it means ground game. And that would be, you know, if they decide to stay down, this option will uh, cover grounded. If they try to roll back, this option will cover rolling back, tech roll, side roll, all that stuff. And the full word is Oki Zemi. Yeah. Oki Zemi. Okay. Uh, anything else that commonly used for hitting grounded? Um, it's very slow, but there's a 4, 3 plus 4. Huh. It's, it's, you're probably not going to hit that in-game unless it's guaranteed, but yeah, there's that move. So I think we've kind of covered most of our moveset, uh, you know, most moves you're going to be seeing and using in a match. Uh, we talked about the launcher and the bind moves earlier, so let's go ahead and uh, go over some of our basic juggles. thing about doing jugglers in this game is kind of compensating for the wall and judging your distances and how far your certain moves in a combo carry and stuff like that. So, so based on your distance to the wall you're gonna have to adjust your juggle <laughs> accordingly. But the basic the basic thing about juggles is you, you most likely want to carry to the wall and then bound at the wall which is called saving your bound for the wall but usually if you can't make it to the wall you're gonna have to obviously bound and then then carry to the wall for your wall combo. So that basically covers all of her standard juggles and the kind of variation you have to do to get each juggle. Yeah, yeah it covers some of them, not all of them. You can see the rest uh, online. So basically after post bind, the generic... The generic ender is 4-4-2-3. Uh, four, four, two, if you want to carry, it's down back 2-2. Two, two. All right. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and sh go up to the wall and let's show them um, her generic wall stun, wall splat moves and uh, wall combos. Her generic wall stun move is uh, standing four, which is a high, but it, it does 28 damage. And that's also her 12 frame puncher? 13. 13 frame puncher. Okay. The, the combo itself is standing four, back four, three to bound. I will take out chainsaws by doing neutral one plus two, and then I will do down two, hold two. And like we said earlier, holding the two gets you extra two hits. Yes, extra two hits. The her other wall combo is done by bounding with up forward four four, and the the best follow up of after up forward four four is two three three. Alisa has a chainsaw combo at the wall too, which is done by, uh, uh destructive form two, forward two forward two up forward one plus two which bounds and then down to hold to. So what are some strategies you could use after a wall combo, like for let's say a wall game? Um, I like to do a mid or low, which is pretty common for, for wake up, basically. Yeah, so it's basically low, which is down one. I usually do down one because it's, it's the, the faster low. I feel like down two is very seeable. Yeah, you can kind of see the wind up before. Yeah, and I also love to do forward one plus two, 
because after Ford Wolfus 2, you get the flip again, which is up Ford Wolfus 2, and you get the full walk over again. And then you're kind of in the same situation all over yeah. again. Or you could actually attempt to do the whole combo again. Yeah, then the mids are all both safe, right? Yes, all the mids are safe. Actually, Ford 1 plus 2 is plus frames on block. Wow. wow. Yeah. See, so like that's a good uh, mid option you could go for for mix-ups after a wall combo. Yeah. So that's basically for the wall combos that end with the chainsaw is down to hold two. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Um, so in general, though, when you have your opponents back to a wall and you're trying to uh, get them to you know, you know wall splat, mm -hmm. like what's what's the generic move that you want to use, or is there any kind of setups you like to do to get that wall splat? Um, like I said. Um, Alisa's movement is great, so it's actually really easy to just backdash and do her, her long range punisher, just like that. There's also backdash, and then you can do my favorite move, but you usually don't get anything. Uh, the best you could get is down 3 3 3. Hmm. Final hit hits low. But uh, I, I would say use her movement right after um, you've completed a wall combo without destroy form. So generally you want to, like the best thing to do to create uh, mix-ups after a wall combo is to be in destroy form. Yes, uh, that's what I usually like to do. That's what I prefer. And uh, you showed uh, down 3-3-3 a second ago. Mm -hmm. um, does she have any of the good quick loads that you can use as pokes? Like, you know, if you just have like a tiny bit of health, you just want to like kill them off really quick. Uh, she's got, you know, down 3. I mean, it looks like a pretty fast low. Down back 3? Oh, down back 3. I mean, we just did the down 3-3-3 three, three, three screen. Oh, I see. Um, What's her? Does she have a generic down four? Uh, no, she doesn't. You have to do full crouch down four. How how's your uh, side step four? It seems to have pretty good range. And... It's not very fast in my opinion. Her side step four? Mm -hmm. Um, is it is it a, how how unsafe is that move? I believe it's only minus eleven, but it's not very fast in my opinion. There, there, there's so a lot of times you would get hit trying yeah. to go for that low. Yeah, well, down back three is just much better, but much more range. Also, much more setup since you've got the range. Side step four, you actually have to be much closer to the opponent. And side step four does not leave you full crouched. No, it does not. Any other basic strategies we want to cover? What about our Okizemi after like throws and stuff? I believe from her two throws, she doesn't really have any great Okizemi. It leaves them too far. Away. It leaves them too far away. But I sometimes catch people uh, that standing up straight with um, with destroy uh, fly one plus two. Then uh, off the one grab, I like to do forward forward two right away and uh, delay the three. And obviously if they stay down for both grabs, you could just run up and do whatever you want. Any, any ground hitting moves. Okay, so I think we've covered base, the basics of how to use her. You know, some of the strategies you'd want to use uh, when playing with her. And um, let, let's talk a little bit now about, you know, things that people should be doing when they're playing against Elisa, you know, like the moves you're going to see and how to avoid them, you know, the best ways to kind of avoid her mix ups and to aid you in beating her. And kind of break apart this character. Like I said, I like to do down back three and so does every other Elisa player that I know of. And uh, down back three must be side, sidewalk left to your left. Sometimes if you sidewalk right, uh, you might avoid it, but most of the time you won't. Let's show that. That was a sidewalk left. Let's let's see Lars just side step left. It hit him. So most of the time you're going to be sidewalking left if you feel like down back three is going to be coming, which it will come a lot. <laughs> <laughs> if you go right, though, it'll always track. So there's like no yeah, if you go track. right, no matter where you go right, it will hit you. So what about uh, down back three on hit? What are your options if you're on defense? Like, what's Elisa's common you know setups that she's gonna go for after she hits a, a lot down of back things, three? Personally, defending against Elisa, uh, what I see a lot is uh, they usually do down back three in the wall setting four since it's a pretty fast option. I think she's only uh, zero on hit, mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah, zero on hit, so eleven frames. So if I try to do like a down forward one or something to try to beat out. Uh, her, her wall standing 4, I'm going to lose by 2 frames since her wall standing 4 is 11 frames and my down forward 1 is 13 frames. So generally I, I see a lot of people doing that. Uh, you know, people wouldn't really want to like risk trying to jab her out of a wall standing 4 because she's still crouching. And if I do, she also has full crouch down forward 1 plus 2 that will high crush. So I'll, I usually see those two uh, follow-ups right after a down back 3. 